Hello everyone, welcome back on the Agri Adventures platform. Today we are going to taste some coffee. It's nine in the morning, as I said, and um, we are going to go with a little bit of uh, description of the coffee for today. We are going to, you know, have a little bit of sharing, or at least I'm going to give you my own uh, uh, impression. Okay, so uh, first, what's the aim of the whole series of uh, testing experiences? Mainly is sharing, sharing with others that they are interested and passionate about uh, food and uh, learn how food is produced, where it's produced, possibly close by us. So we're speaking about South Australia and um, or at least partially considering coffee is not generally produced in South Australia but is roasted in South Australia. Um, this is also a really informative interesting way of uh, learn more so if you are interested you can leave a comment uh, below the Facebook page this video will be also on YouTube too and then ask questions if you have any or listen uh, the presentation and now as I said uh, Hark coffee is roasted here in uh, Adelaide Micro roastery, I think. I've been visiting uh, them a week ago, a couple of weeks ago. I'm speaking with uh, uh, Theo and Sam, uh, which are the uh, owners, business partners in that business. Okay, so uh, what I said in the um, this is gonna be a toasting for uh, toast a uh, testing, <laughs> toasting, interesting, a uh, testing for uh, uh, Kenya's coffee. So African coffee, uh, for everybody we know, uh, coffee is originally coming from uh, Ethiopia. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna open this coffee uh, bag that I got a week ago, almost. And uh, I'm going to um, give you some, immediately some feedback about the nose. If I have to say, and this could be a, a, an advice for Sam and Theo. First, I found really nice the last time, I found really nice the um, having a small card where there were the characteristics of the coffee. For the packaging too also, I, if I can give an advice, if I will not have a good memory, about what I was drinking, what I've been asking for, I won't. I will not be able to tell anymore what coffee, where are they? Where are these coffees are from? So customize packaging for coffee, or simply just a sticker that tells you where the um, the coffee is coming from when you bought it. That will be really useful. Other thing that will be really useful. It will be the seal, seal sealing package. This is the coffee that they taste the last time. Unless you are a coffee addict and uh, you drink 250 uh, grams of coffee in a range of uh, a couple of weeks, unless having that sealable, it's really good thing. So these are just few advices for you guys. You do already an amazing job. I don't say like, I mean, I'm not roasting coffee, so I don't know uh, like how difficult it is do this thing, but that's for a few advices. Because this coffee is said to me it was uh, roasted uh, heavily, which from the color it has kind of variation. I will show you in a second in a, in the container. But the smell it's not burned. The smell it's greenish. Like it reminds me, I kind of. Yes, there is coffee behind, there is a lot of bit of berries behind. This probably is, is a bit more uh, chocolatey than, uh, than the, the previous that I tested last time. But immediately the nose gives, gives to me something green, really green. So let's have a look together for a second. So where are we? Uh, Art Coffee Roasters over here nearby uh, Goodwood. And uh, not really difficult to find it. Just Google it, it's really easy. 
guys really gentle yeah the last time they asked me like i asked if i was able to get the picture they were really friendly and say yeah yeah of course go for it and uh we're already seeing what we have on the table over here when you go at the cafe you're already having your three grinders in front of you i don't know what were the varieties or what there was inside in the coffee is really a good sign it's pretty amazing the um, coffee machine if you have a chance to see it coffee machine um i had a quick look of it at it and what i've seen there were separate pumps uh separate boilers two groups which maybe for the ratio of coffee that they were brewing they were not enough separate pumps separate boilers and that makes a lot and then if i had the chance to see also they had control of the uh pressure extractions which it means that they were able to change you can change a lot in coffee when you have this kind of machine also I like it because it looks like a little bit of steampunk. And well, that's the, 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 all the coffee. What I want to show you guys that's over here, I didn't want to get the picture because I was not sure if it was, you know, copyrighted, protected, you know. It's, but this is the roasting machine that roasts by air. And that is what I'm finding, what I've been finding immediately different from this coffee that I taste and previous coffees, which actually was so different that I was confused. I was confused because first of all, it was, it was a strong intensity, but it was really complex. It was not just, you know, at the nose, I'm speaking of the palate. It was not just uh, the, uh, uh, the, you know, chocolate, but it was, there was much more and there were, smells they were in contrast like it, it, the acidity was really good but there was also good body and i thought okay and then so where is coming from high low i was a little bit confused and then it was a blend this is a this this press is a blend while this one it, it's a, a single origin so in the end i did not know if that coffee was a washed coffee or if it was a natural coffee because it had both it had the uh, the fresh the the the, the acidity the uh, the fruitiness the florals uh, the citrus coming from uh, the washed but also had the body and the roundness of the natural so i had to ask to the barista say i don't understand where this coffee and how it's made because it, it's, it's different from what i'm used and he said that is the air roasting i said well okay interesting yeah i enjoy to to do that going around and uh, with my bicycle. So for who's curious about, um, and for who doesn't know, this is a little bit of a history lesson. The um, coffee plant, Arabica coffee plant have been found uh, in Ethiopia over here. And uh, I've been traveling like the, from Ethiopia to Yemen where uh, Yemeni people, Yemeni people, they, they, they were strong trader back in the days and that they got the plant, they bought the seed, they took everything in Yemen and then they decided to plant over there. And then from there, the, uh, the coffee been traveling with the use of uh, other people because they think it was the thing where French people, they've been moving uh, coffee from Ethiopia to uh, Barbon Island which is located where the mouse is that now has, has actually different different name and then the coffee traveled in India and in China and then went to um, went to America and then Brazil. The only thing I was looking to say and to finish this small introduction, it's uh, we drink coffee and one of the um, one of the missions of Agri Adventures is to uh, bring the attention to complexity into food from the final customer. This is an example of average coffee cup. And I'm speaking about the espresso. I'm not speaking about the cappuccino. Uh, remember cappuccino has milk inside, means it's coming from cows, cows also they, but anyway, coffee cup consumes 150 liters of water for one single coffee cup. And you cannot have poison to water to produce coffee. So 
you, you are using clear, fresh, drinkable water to produce a coffee that is going to be 25 milliliters. That's not going to take away any thirst or anything. What I'm going to do, like the last time, I've been brewing with a standard recipe, which is 295, 10, two minutes. And I'm gonna, we're gonna do that together. So first of all, let's have a look to this coffee. I'm gonna change and I'm gonna show you from the other camera because that is a good idea. And uh, so, oh, right. Okay, so what we have over here, these are the coffees. I may find a transparent container because probably it's better. I see that there is a little bit of variation in color from one to another, which is also another good question because generally the uniformity of coffee is really cool. I don't know much about that. I have to say that I'm not the right person to speak about this. I'm not roster to the level that I can recognize if the uh, like quality looking at a coffee. I'm just curious because there is a lot of differences between shape and color in this, this coffee. Okay. Now what I'm gonna have, I need to have a 10 grams. Yeah, of course. So let's let's do this and change a little bit. Okay. Okay. The only problem is the light from behind me that is making this poor camera freaking out. So Okay, so we have 10 grams, which is uh, high. To me, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good amount. It's sometimes it's even too much. When I had the chance to speak with uh, uh, one of the business partners, he said to me, you go with nine grams, not with 10. I, I wanna go with, with 10 mildly because I wanna keep the same standards that they used before, so I can have keep, keep a sort of preferences. Then I'm gonna come over here. We have, I have my little grinder, which is set on 10. Um, this grinder has 55 different levels of uh, grinding. And um, so the 10 is in the espresso section. section. And uh, I done espresso through this grinder. 10, it was a little bit too coarse. So M5 was a little bit too, too thin. And so for an espresso, it was going to be seven. So I'm just a little bit above the espresso, espresso grinding uh, level. I don't know if it's good. So far, I've been working. It has been working. Mm, oh, there are strawberries. How do we can get strawberry in this one? And still something green. There is kind of you know, when you eat a strawberry at the end of, there is a, the green part and you eat a few leaves. Exactly. That is that's so interesting. I'm just trying to save the, the camera from the bright light. We have sun today. Yay. That's cool. <laughs> and um, so over here, that's going on. What I have, it's the, um, I repress in a inverted position. Like last time, I still didn't, I still, still didn't go to buy filters for AeroPress. So I have my water, water soak one. I should also change a kind of container because I often lose some coffee. And this is as usual, my favorite coffee cup. Speaking about uh, Moto Guzzi, my Moto still waiting for me in Italy. I'm friends and mom. And let's see what's happened. 
And it's curiosity for many that they use Aeropress is the, oh, here you are. Aeropress is the, um, the opposite way of pouring. Now let's see how it comes out. Obviously this is Novo 60. Okay, that's 200. 200 milliliters, sorry, a little bit more. Color is slightly darker than uh, the previous. And we have, at this point, I don't need have the scale anymore. Just close it. Um, one minute. Dun, 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 dun. I realized that I take less to do uh, extraction time, so I start a little bit later. I'm gonna start at 36. Obviously, here you are. And go. This, <clears throat> this could be also a matter of thickness of the filter, but we got that two minutes and one second. Two minutes and one second. There is a little bit a subtle um, caramel. And still this kind of green, greenish, a sort of, um, grass yeah. exactly how somebody can tell me this is natural product natural coffee when has this level of live uh, crispy uh, acidi acidity interesting because I have the bitterness but it's not so intense <clears throat> it's easy to drink but I have a feeling that it's a kind of not extract enough so under extracted it may work better with a longer extraction time the The, 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 the powder, the coffee powder was a bit too wet when I finished it. So it may, it's also a little bit too, uh, grinded too thin. More subtle than the last one that I had, which is still good. I like it. And that's it. Now it's time for me to get ready for breakfast. I have many things to do today. Uh, we're gonna go and have a look to uh, community garden here in a, a nearby Halle Cove. I made a few scones that I'm having fun with baking at home sometimes. These one are sourdough scones, if you wanna say sourdough. They are, I simply got raisin flour, uh, uh, oatmeal flour, sugar, uh, sorry, sugar, salt, yeasts, and I've been doing this actually is two days, no, one day enough of uh, raising. And now it's breakfast time. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed. This is the coffee I've been testing today and on Hark Coffee. I'm really interested to go and visit them again and having a chat more about the technique and why they're different, why their coffee comes out so different and so confusing for me. Uh, to understand from the palate and the nose where it comes from. Have a good day from Agri Adventures. See you the next time. Ciao.